Hey guys, what's up? Jason's here. Today, we'll be talking about how to send and receive a fax with Yaystar Series Void PBX. Actually, sending and receiving a fax is dealing with outgoing and incoming costs. The fax machine, if we get a one, can be regarded as an analog phone. We can connect the fax machine to the FXS port of PBX and then send and receive fax through physical trunks like PST and Lent line, E1 line. BRI trunk connected to the PBX as well as SIP trunk of the PBX. What we need is to configure inbound and outbound roads. Now let's jump in and check it out. Say we've got a fax machine and it has been bound with the analog extension 1000. Get to the call control. First, let's see how to configure inbound road to receive a fax. Create an inbound road, name it fax. Select one PST in line. We've got two ways to receive a fax with a fax machine. First one, if this inbound road is used for fax only, we can set the destination to the fax extension directly. So, all fax files sent to this selected trunk will reach the fax machine. The second one, if the selected trunk is used to receive normal calls and fax at the same time, we can set the destination to an IVR, which will instruct callers to an internal destination. As for fax receiving, check enable fax detection here, and choose the fax extension as the destination. Save and apply the configurations. After that, both normal calls and fax will be handled correctly. You might ask, what if I don't have a fax machine? Don't worry about that. We can receive fax without limitation of time and space by fax to email. Just mind that PBX email server should be configured in advance, so emails will be sent successfully. Move to the fax to email feature, create an inbound route, name it, choose an analog trunk. We can apply the same two methods mentioned just now. First, if this inbound route is used for fax only, set the destination to fax to email. Choose an extension tied with a valid email address. Second, if the selected trunk is used to receive both normal calls and fax, we can set the destination to an IVR, check enable fax detection, set the destination to fax to email, and choose an extension bound with an email address. Save and apply the configurations. That's all we need to do. No matter which method we've applied, when a fax is detected through this inbound road, PBX will send it to the mailbox. So much about the fax receiving part, let's turn to the outbound road and see how to send a fax with the fax machine. Create an outbound road, name it, choose the analog trunk, as well as the fax extension, save and apply all settings. Now we're able to send a fax through selected trunk. That was how we sent and receive a fax with Yaystar S-Series PBX. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. You could have a test on your S-Series PBX. Need more details about fax and email server? Please check the link of our online documents down in the description. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. I will see you guys in the next one.